This conference will now be recorded. Right. Okay. Uh, we are going to discuss uh, these concepts. Uh, hard to say one. These are all things, uh, things which I noted yesterday from questions and uh, Okay, then, 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 there we are. Yeah. So, what of things are there? We'll discuss one by one. So, let me start straight away. Hands up. Log on. Type ISPF. So now if you see in the bottom, ISR at the rate PRI something is there, right? So this is the ISPF primary option menu. Now I can rename it SCR name, screen name, SCR1, which is the SCR1 is the user defined name. SCR1 is the user defined name. Enter. So you can see. Now start 3.4. I'll give Venkat A.B15. How come no data sets are here? Okay. Or deleted, it's okay. So B15, it is there now. B15, star, are there. Now DS list, I want to change it to something name. So like this, okay. We can give names for the screen. So if I go here, if I hit the end, if I go here, if I hit the enter, it will open that relevant screen. Just go to the screen and double click on it. It opens automatically. It opens automatically. Is it clear? <clears throat> it's showing for you. Someone asked the question yesterday. Is it showing the screen in the bottom? Next. So let me explain differences between browse, view, and edit. Okay. Browse. Okay. Before that, I want to explain something else also. Let me explain them. So yesterday we saw how to copy the data from PS file to PS file, how to copy the members from one PDS to another PDS, how to copy specific our particular member from one PDS to another PDS. So I'll open this is the file one. Okay. Now I am in member of the PDS. Okay. Now I am in member of the PDS. So I will enter some data. ISPF one, ISPF two, ISPF three, ISPF three, four. ASPF 6, ASPF 7, ASPF 8, ASPF 9, DV2, DV1, DV2, DV3, DV4, DV5, DV6, DV7, DV8, DV9, DV10, and save. So I want to copy two rows from this member to another member or another file. So I want to copy only select two rows, few rows. So what we can do, I can type CC, CC, 
Okay, I want to copy till C, uh, TSO 6. Okay, you select, you make it a block, which records you want to copy, you select all of them by using CCCC and use cut. Cut is nothing but here copy only. Don't use as a, uh, like it will delete the old content like that. Cut is nothing but it's like a copy. Cut. So six lines is copied to the default. Now you can go to part 3.4. Look at A, B15 dot I am opening a PS file. So now our data is present. I am pressing a print to swap it. Our data is print a copy from M1 member of the PDS. So do we have any data at this moment? No. I will take paste. So it got copied these numbers. You would have let me delete an Excel. Mark. Yes. Now you can type paste. The data got copied. If I, I'll type one more time, paste. I'll get an error. Where I have to paste because there is already there we have a data. So I can type A after. So means it is going to copy when it is going to paste after TSO6. Is it clear? Right. Let me explain again. Now I'll go to another member. I want to copy all the rows from, uh, I know our specific rows. You can make it a dot A, it's a label, what we call. Either you can write it as CC, okay, you can write as CC, CC or dot A dot B. It's a label, what we call label. So dot A dot B. So we are trying to copy this data. So I'll say cut dot A. Earlier, I just I kept only cut because CCCC is there. It can understand. Now it's not a CCCC. It is a user defined label. So you see that file lines cut to default. Now I can go to any data set, either member of the PDS or PDS file or PS file. So you can go anywhere. I am going here 3.4. Now I am going to the PDS3. Okay, I am creating a member 3, member 4. You can paste in different places. No, there is no data. Straight away you can use paste. Okay. D, refresh. I'll open M2. Uh, M2 already attached as a data. M1 open. I'll open M1 member. So I am trying to paste it here. It will throw error because it has a data you can write either after or before this is how you can copy that data from one uh, file to another file specific rows okay next 
So let's talk about how we can create a different way. So we are done with the one structure, the like uh, uh, copying in one way. So now I'm in a member of the PDS. Okay, I'm in a member of the PDS. So I want to create a member. Can I create a member? I want to keep this data in the same PDS. I'll repeat the, let me write. Chennai, Mumbai, Delhi. So I want to create a, I mean, it's not a create actually. I want to keep this data. I want to keep the, this data in another member of the same PDS. I want to keep this data in, in a different member in the same PDS. So I can write, I'll write dot A. Dot B. I'll say create dot B. M6. Enter. So member M6 got created with this data. You want to see the command? This is the one I did. It. Create a member called M6, which the data which is present in the dot A dot B between. So this is the another way to create. So let me F3. I'll can I know I'll uh, I'll reset. I'll cancel. Now I'll refresh it. M6 is there. The data also got there. Are you clear? Next another primary command. I want to create a, another member with this entire data. So I am already working on this member. I want to take a backup of this member in another PDS without navigating to another screen. So I can do, I can do create dot zf dot zl m7. Dot zf means from first line. Dot zl means till last line. So we are going to say that, so create a M7 from, from first line to last line in a M7 member. You see that member M7 got created. I'll press F3. So you, you saw how to create the specific rows and all of them and M7. So this is very useful in without navigating to another screen, typing a C against the member. So these are all screen navigation. These are all shortcut okay, to save your time to complete the things very quickly. Is it clear? Right. Okay. Now you got to know something, right? So let me explain some other shortcut commands. Yeah. Okay, Tim. So please understand uh, things about, uh, you know, cancel, undo, undone. So what I do, let me create a fresh member so that it will be easy for you to understand. Now, so guys, understand. Now there is no data. 
I've saved it. So member eight got saved. I'm typing ESO one, ESO two. Now I saved it. So I typed two commands and I saved it. Okay, now I am typing a cancel. So either you can press F12 or cancel. What is happening? Now my question M8 is going to have two rows or not? Is it going to have two rows or not? Yes, it's going to have. Okay, so whatever you did the till whatever the changes you whatever the uh, changes you save till that the things will be there. Example, I'll give PSO three, PSO four. I saved it. What I did it? I saved four rows. Now I am typing JCL one, JCL two. So I am cancelling now. I am cancelling. If I cancel. Because after TSO4, I saved it. Then I modified, I added JCL1 and JCL2. These two are not going to save it. If I press F12 or cancel command, JCL1, JCL2 will not be there. JCL2, 1 will not be there. Because the whatever, okay, till save command, everything will be saved. After that, if you by mistake, if you type a cancel command, all latest changes which you did it, okay all will be uh, will be done like a undo it will be done as a undo is it clear so somebody asked what is auto save one okay so what happens team when you press f3 you know when you press f3 it you know automatically it should save the data okay it should save the data in that case you can type auto save one so you can see what is that so equal to auto save one this command turns the auto save mode for your current edit when you later use the end command to exit the editor so any changes you made Checking auto save, you can verify the current auto setting. So basically, it is to, it is totally linked with the end when a rex command. Okay, it is something related to the rex command. They are saying. So I'll, anyhow, I'll, I'll repeat again. So when you press F3, it is going to save and exit if you keep auto save one. Okay, let's try this also. Auto save off. Let me try this also. It is off. Okay, understand. I'm pressing F3 now. JCL1, I saved it. I'm typing JCL2 and I hit the enter, but I pressed F3. Okay, can you see? Auto save. So, oh, data change, save, cancel. You have to do one of them. I'll repeat here. So, auto save off is enabled. Is enabled. Right? Then, I modified content data in a file. And pressing F3. Pressing F3. And pressing F3. Now what happens? If I press F3, so it is not going to save changes what you did before F3. So it is asking forcefully, boss, save or type cancel command. Either one of them you do it. Then only F3 is going to work. I hope you got the answer. Someone asked me the question, you are there, I don't know. Right. So that is all about. So I'll say auto save one. Now if I press F3, it is going to save and exit. It's like that. 
So that is all about auto save one. I hope you got this one screen name and you got the cancel. Cancel or F2 well is the same. Inkat? Yeah. Yeah, what if the file is opened in the view mode? Will the auto save work in view mode also? No, no, that, that all together different ball game, different story about it. We'll see the differences later in a way. Okay. Uh, then, okay, let's go with the profile. Okay, let's try to understand undo command, okay? Let's try to undo, understand the undo. So again, this again, you need to practice things because until you do practice, you will not come to know because I am telling once only and uh, so it's sometimes you might because if you would have not done hands until now, then it will be difficult for you to understand things. Yeah. So let me I'll write PSO. Okay. I saved it. SCL. And I did not save it. I did the enter. So I will do undo. So undo is not, not available. Undo is not available. So, uh, number of recovery on. Yeah. So you need to make recovery on. Okay. You this recovery on. Now I'll save it. I'll type visa. And I'll type undo. Got it. So control Z, undo is equivalent to control Z. Only it works when you do recovery on. Okay. First enable recovery on. First enable the recovery on. Then after typing, you realize that something you entered wrong. Then you can type undo. I hope you are clear. Undo. So I'll repeat again. I'll enter visa, saved it. If I do undo, no use because I did the everything changes. Save right. Once you do save change, once you did the uh, once you save the data, then what you do undo it doesn't work, right? So now I'm changing from visa to here. Uh, let's say virtual access storage device. Visa. Storage access. Virtual storage access method. Visa. So I just type can uh, now undo. So you do just hit the enter, undo and undo. Okay, once you modify the data, hit the enter, then immediately type undo. So whatever you do, the changes. It has changes you did it, it will like control get. So that is all about undo command. Okay. Now let me explain the differences between edit, view, browse, all. I'm opening the member in a browse mode. It is a read only. Nothing can be done here. You cannot do anything except reading only it's exclusive read edit is all about you can so what i happens here like uh, let me note it the things browse means browse mode means read only edit means 
modify the data modify means either adding deleting press f3 okay it is going to come out of it that is what you observed if it is auto save is on is enabled you modify the data add the data delete the data press f3 it works so whatever the changes you did it will save and it will press f3 then in a view mode let's try to understand in real time everyone will open the member in a view mode all the files will be opened in a view mode Okay, are you clear team? So, now I'll open a member in a view, enter. Now you can see a view. Okay, so as I said, in real time and you need to practice like this one. So that once you enter into the project, you know, you will be using the same way. So in training, since it is in a training, I as a trainer, I keep opening the file in edit mode. I, I know I can control the things, what I am doing. I know what I am typing. I know what are the changes. I did it. So I know the, everything, okay? Everything is in my 100% is in my control. But sometimes when you are modifying production programs, means uh, real-time programs, so we should not take a chance, right? We should not do any mistakes right so to overcome small things we go open the view mode i'll explain one example the usage of the view let's say i modified the data immediately the person who is sitting next to you they started chatting with you and you are you are having tea and when you come back to your screen you forget what you did the changes you forgot you did lot of changes but you forgot to do you forgot what are the things you did it so right it happens you modified you did not save anything but you forgot what are the changes you did it so in that case view is going to help a lot so you can cancel the changes what you did it okay and whenever if you do by mistake any changes it gives keep alerting you example i am giving vzam1 save it i am trying to save so now you see that okay uh, it's alert you are in currently in data view mode press enter to return the view session to save your changes means boss it is not saving straight away the difference in edit is it saves it. If you type a save command, it, is, it doesn't throw warning. Right here, it is giving a warning. Boss, you did some changes. Now, it is giving alert. Now, you will realize, okay, yes, this is something I did it. I want to do it. So, to save your changes within the view, what are the commands they are asking? Create, which you already know, or replace. So, they are asking to use replace command or create. I will hit the end. So, now you see, read the error message. Okay, team. I hope you read the message. Now, how I did? So now I cannot save directly. There is no chance. If I keep under type, if I keep typing under time save command, same result, same thing. Then how it works, right? So, replace dot get up dot get l m8. So means I'm using same member. So boss, remove the old data. Whatever the latest data is there. Dot get up dot get l means from first line till last line whatever the latest data is going to copy like a control c what 
all the runs. So and replacing where M8. Enter. So member M8 is replaced. Now straight away you can cancel. No problem. I'll open M8. You see visa one is there. I'll explain again. I'm at, okay. I'll open in a view mode. So I am entering one DB2 CACS. I'm trying to save it. It is showing an error. Same warning. Uh, is it saved? No. It is showing an error. You are in a view mode, right? Now what I need to do? So replace dot ZF dot ZL M8 in M8 only. If you give M7, M7 in the M7 member, whatever the old data is there, it will delete. This data will be added as simple as okay. It will overwrite the data. That is the meaning of replace. Right. So if you use create, it will create a new member. So this is all about differences between view, edit and browse. Any queries now? So this is very important in interview point of view also thing. This command will be useful in modify as well as right? Sorry? Oh, the command replace uh -huh. can be also used in uh, edit mode, right? Not you can use it in edit read mode. You cannot do okay. Read mode is all about replace dot get up dot get up m9 c invalid command. I'll give m12 invalid command right. Read only, it is not allowing also. So we are done with the differences between all of them. Now let me explain how we can insert the data. It is very, very important. In JCL and all, we might be talking about them. Right. So I will insert test data or sample data. This is icon. It's a real time terminology. So I need to create a test data for this C number. The length is 5 bytes, C name length is 15 bytes, address 15 bytes, C phone number 10 bytes. So what is the total record length by the way? What is the record length? 15 plus 15, 30 plus 10, 40, 45 is the record length. Do I need to create with the only 40? No, I can create with the 50. That is a 5 bytes will be a buffer. Okay. 5 bytes will be a buffer. Now, so this is the I1 I am going to create. Quickly, I will create a file. So, the utilities to allocate a bankcard a dot b14 b15 dot file b I'll give record format is a zero. Sorry, record format is a fixed block. Write a block zero because I want to create a PS file. So and record length is a 45 block size 450. Let me explain what is the block size. Okay, you know cotton box, right? Okay, you know 
you know carton box so what does mean you can store multiple items okay you can store multiple items so basically you want to store uh, you know records individually then we keep as a uh, fixed okay so we have a uh, record format fixed is there record format fixed fixed block variable variable block so let me give an idea about all of them right so this is a one record this assume that this is the one record and this is another record so i'll create a this is another consider this is another record and so in the fixed block okay in the fixed what happens the each record size is a fixed each record size is a fixed as i told you right so though you know you created a 45 you stored only customer number name you did not add address and phone number it doesn't matter it will take 45 bytes though you enter the data or not that is a behavior of fixed or fixed block what is the difference between both of them so when it comes to when it comes to you know uh, fixed means each one is a one record independent okay so whereas fixed block means fixed block means in the block okay in the block so in the block sorry <coughs> right so in a block in a block there are multiple blocks will be there in each block multiple records will be there so in one block 10 records second block 10 records third block 10 records so we are grouping the records we are keeping so couple of records in each block okay so how many records in the block it depends on the value what you give if i give the block size 450 the record length is 45 so obviously in each block each block and records will be there and records will be there if the block size is uh, let's say 90 record length is 45 so 90 divided by 45 in each block you are telling two records okay so the block is going to help you while you are reading the data from file in a cobol program while you are processing the data okay while you are processing the data from sequential file uh, okay our member of the pds it is block is going to help you i hope you are clear about what is the fixed block block okay fixed block in a block each record length is fixed in the block each record length is fixed when it comes to the variable one record length is a 50, 
the second record length is a 40 third record is a 60 like that so we can have a multiple record length record structures okay so one record one record one record length is can be a 50 second record length can have 45 so third record can have 60 uh, fourth record can have 50 okay fifth record can have again same Is it clear so now when it comes to the fixer block once the record length is a 45 so all the records record lengths will be 45 45 45 only is it clear did you understand the differences between fixer block variable so in the variable block in each okay variable means record length will be different in the block each record can be same but uh, you know records length can be different in a block also in a variable block i hope you are clear now i creating 45 so i am creating a ps file to data set name type is a blank so 3.4 flex cancel You can see file tray created. I am opening a rate mode. First, type num of which is very very important and calls caps on three commands. So, the question is all about the question is all about customer number from which column it should start. My question is that customer number from which column it should start, from which column it should start. It should start the first column because that, that is the first field as per our requirement so c okay uh, c triple zero one now c triple zero one is a customer number the name from where it should start sixth column because first to five bytes occupied by customer number right first to five name should start from column i will give venkat venkat how much length six only so now i want to start address as a hyderabad address from which column it should start tell me now address should start from which Twenty one. The fixed block is from twenty one. No. Yeah, so yes, 21. See, when you are inserting that doesn't matter for fixed or variable, okay? So, uh, you know, the pattern is what? 5 plus 15. You said 45, only one record, but in the other record from 20, because first five bytes occupied number, 15 name, 15 plus 20. So, first 20 bytes occupied by two fields. So, 21 Hyderabad should start. So, give space explicitly. Now, you understood the importance of this column now easy for me right t2 means 20 21 so where the phone number should start by the way where the phone number should start plyo 10 30, uh, 15 20 20 plus 15 35 from 36 onwards the phone number should start i am giving my number 85 save it you don't use a num of it will generate last eight numbers similarly c triple zero 
and I will give Ravi and I will give address Venkat since 2010 of the YouTube channel name. It is exceeding actual 15. It cannot be. It cannot be. Okay. You need to take care of that. So don't give any space between each field because there is no requirement in the, there is no requirement that you should have a space between them. It is not needed. So seven double nine double seven four five zero eight five. This is our phone number, right? So now system understand where you know we handle that where which field starts from where. Okay. But for your information, don't give any space between field to field until unless in the if it is there in the requirement and it until unless if something is there in the requirement so this is how you need to insert the data this is how you need to insert the data is it clear so this is all about the screen inside the file next how we can copy the data uh, you know from ps2 ps using 3.3 .3. so three you can view the data using one you guys can explore one on command line type one enter the data set name to view the data see we generally don't do this we go always open from 3.2 only same i'll open edit so because already is in a view mode, the member also should be open in a view mode. See it. Okay. So the file you can open in a view mode. So it can be a sequential file or anything. Uh, if you want to modify the data, you can open, use, either you can do from 3.4 or second. If you want to modify the data from ISP or primary option menu, you can select two also. Next, so 3.3, quickly we will try to work on it. So we can copy using 3.3, just type 3. From where you want to copy, I guess I explained this one if I am not wrong, but anyhow, if I am not done, I can explain now. You can see, you can use move or copy. For that you need to type a C. C means copy. If you want to move, you can use EM, move. So from where you want to copy, this is the PDS. Where you want to paste it. I want to paste it in this PDS. PDS 7. So from this PDS, we are copying to this PDS. Enter. So now PDS 7 is not there. You want to create as a PDF file 1. So this screen same as earlier what we discussed type one enter so if i want to select all the members what i have to do guys in a single shot if 100 members are there i cannot go with the other way right is it clear guys So what is the what is the command to select all the members? 
It is going to copy all the members. You see that? Okay, the, how we copy it there? Same way we can copy using 3.3. You can go and check it that. Similarly, uh, you can copy the PS file also. If you want to rename the data set or delete type 2, you want to delete type D. I'll type file 1. Hit the enter. Type a D, hit the enter. It is going to delete. Data set got deleted. So I want to delete file 2. I want to rename file 2 R. R means rename. File, file 2. Enter. I'll give file 66. So the renaming from file 2 from file 66. Enter. So you can go and check it in 3.4. You'll be able to see. This is how you can delete. Similarly, you, you can try to stop them. Okay, is it clear? So, what are the things you need to explore on top of our content? So, 3.12. 13, 3.14, 15. So 3.12, super C, super C, search, search for. So these are all options of three utilities. You can Google it, YouTube, you found it, go, you will get a manual, okay? You can get, you will get the manual for super C manual PPT. And Try to do hands-on. This is very important when you are analyzing the uh, up existing application program. When you want to analyze the existing application program, when you have a more programs, the lengthy code, 10,000, 5,000 lines of the code, programs, JCLs, you know, hundreds of the J, hundreds, hundreds lines of the JCL. When we have the lengthy codes, so many members, that time the 14, 15 is going to help you when you want to compare multiple data sets so you can go with the 12 and 13 so this is the basic comparison super c is the advanced comparison so i request you to explore these two also okay explore and do the hands on so otherwise i am done for the dating uh, i guess i explained everything if here and there is not explained don't worry we will cover in the jcl so when the session going on, where, where it is required, when it is required, I'll explain. So we are done with the first module and we will be starting JCL from tomorrow. And we will not be having session on this Friday. Okay, so we will not be having session on this Friday. So I'll try to compensate another weekend. So next Friday, Saturday, Monday, sorry, uh, next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days we will not be having. We will be having tomorrow. 